What's up, everybody? Uh, today, we're going to be talking a little bit about physical media versus streaming. And like a lot of people, I just, you know, jumped on the streaming thing because it's just so much easier. Click a movie, bang, pow, it runs. Got a pretty decent surround setup in the living room. Uh, nothing too crazy. But when I moved in this house, I got my theater room somewhat set up. It's not all the way done yet. I've got a temporary screen because I need to upgrade my projector from a 1080p to a 4K. But I've been watching a little bit of a channel called Echoes of Iceman. I don't know if you might be familiar with him. He does a lot of Diablo content, which I'm also a Diablo player. So kind of found him over there and migrated over there. And he's really got me thinking lately of you know, which one is the better deal when you've got a pretty decent surround sound setup. So I've been going down the rabbit hole once again of physical media. So this down here, kind of sort of where the theater is set up in the basement here. Don't mind the boxes. Um, but what we've got going on, this is my temporary screen. It is a 150 inch screen. Uh, we've got two Polk Audio T50s and sitting on top of those are the Polk Audio XT90s. I've got the T30 there. I've got two Klipsch R12SWs um, there. And then we've got Polk Audio T15s for the back. And yeah, I don't have a blind for that, so I've got that propped in there to limit a little bit of the light. But then we've got the BenQ 10, HT 1070A, I believe, is what that one is. And then here, so this room is a bit of a challenge to get sound to work, you know, because it's open. Um, and then we got this soffit. I really need to paint this ceiling black for the light bleed. Um, and then I've got just a little old mono price eight inch sub just for a little bit of kick in the back uh, but we've got all that being powered by pioneer elite vsx lx 102 now this stereo is really old i think it's 2018 i might have got this but i mean it is a 7.2 surround and then we've got the panasonic 4k blu-ray player um and we've started getting a little bit of DVDs. Some of these I had, some I went kind of sort of thrift shopping. I tried to hit some pawn shops, but there wasn't really shit in the pawn shops. Um, and I've got an older, this used to be the theater couch. It's a pop-out sleeper and it had this little L arm. So I mean, I don't really know what to do with it. Um, but then we've got the popcorn machine. So you can really get that whole movie theater popcorn going. But, you know, it's a pretty decent view. My little puppy here, Torvi, she really likes the theater room. And then I had all my DVDs packed in the garage and didn't really have a plan for them because, as you well know, if you're watching DVD on a 1080p, I mean, you got to be honest with yourself, they look like shit. Um, but they sound sensational. So... Even a DVD 5.1, a lot of them have, you know, like a DTS track on them. So if you've got a somewhat decent, and this is a budget. I mean, I say budget loosely. Everyone's budget's a little bit differently. But, I mean, I definitely didn't break the bank on these speakers here. I got a, quite a few of these on, like, Black Friday sales and stuff like that. So to get a little bit of a discount. But we have all these shit closets down here. And so I decided to kind of get in here with some tools and really chop some shelves out in here. And now these are not organized. I just did all this last night. Um, I got these little shelves from Amazon. I still need to paint that little wall, but I was down here working until like 10, 30, 11 o'clock last night. Um, just kind of chopping this out <laughs> and hanging these shelves. Now these shelves are not the greatest shelves in the world, but you would get 10 shelves for $11 and 50 cents, something like that on Amazon, so I bought four sets of them. So this is two sets, so a total of 20 shelves. Still got a little bit of room. And as far as I know, because my garage is 
an episode of A&E Hoarders. Um, I still haven't packed that shit out, uh, but as far as I know, this is all the DVDs that I have. And of course, there could be a tote hidden somewhere here or there. I do have some extra popcorn up here and little boxes for the machine. A little Miss Torben. But uh, yeah, so this is the setup. And so today, I heard that there was a bunch of big lot stores closing and I was like, you know what? I wonder if they have DVDs at big lots. So I had to go in the hood to get a big lot because the one where I live is not closing. But this one was closing. So we bought a whole stack of movies and we paid what do we pay here? $44.44. So let's dig all these out and kind of sort of see. Ah, sorry, I'm trying to film this with my phone one-handed. Let's just see. And they had a ton of Blu-rays there, but you know, a lot of them were pretty shit. Um, Blu-rays that I'm not gonna just buy movies for the sake of saying, oh, I have that on Blu-ray. If I don't want to watch that movie, I'm not gonna add it to my collection. So I see a lot of people seem to do is, oh, I'm just going to pick this and grab this and grab that and I'm not doing that. So one of the movies we did pick up here was Act of Valor. Um, this movie got a little bit of criticism because, you know, it's had real Navy SEALs in there, but some of the stuff in there was kind of hokey that they were doing. Um, but, you know, I mean, two ninety nine before the discount. This one here, it's got four on it and A Quiet Place. First, we get Crawl, Overlord, and Pet Cemetery. I have only seen A Quiet Place. I haven't seen the other three, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Jeepers Creepers, definitely a horror classic right here. Really liked this movie when it came out. I didn't see any of the other ones, but this first one, man, it was pretty gnarly at the time when it came out. This one here, excellent sound. I mean, on streaming, it had pretty decent sound, so I can't imagine... You know, the gunshots and stuff on this are going to probably freaking blow the damn doors off the house. Aquaman is really good. There's a lot of channels out there that use this as a subwoofer sound check. So we'll see. I haven't done the Odyssey mic in this room yet. I'm going to do that probably over the next day or two because the family's out of town and they're not going to be bothered by all the beep, beep, beeps and boops. Um... This movie here is just exceptional. I love this movie. Um, Live, Die, Repeat, whatever it's called. Uh, Edge of Tomorrow. Uh, this is an excellent move, sci-fi type of movie. The sound of this is just mind-boggling. And then, of course, you know, the classic Seven. Excellent movie. I don't really remember too much about... You know, this is so old, I and mean, I haven't watched it in so many years, so I don't really know, you know, what the sound quality of this one's going to be like, but what a dark, moody movie. I can just imagine, you know, in the rain scenes, hearing the little rain drips and drops. And then I got this, not really a DC type of guy, but the first movie there wasn't too bad, so um kind of looking forward to re-watching this one on the screen. Um, so yeah, that's what we got going on for adding in the DVDs and our Blu-rays, I mean, uh, so yeah, this, I know it's kind of a little rambling video cause I don't have any scripts, but you know, props to Iceman for, uh, sending me on as he would call a spiritual journey to really get my ears back in gear because guys I mean it does matter when you're streaming a movie and then you go to watch that same movie on physical media it's just night and day difference if you got an ear for it you know like you're really into your surround sound and you want to hear things loud and banging and kicking you in the chest I mean you really got to get physical media to do it so once again props to you Iceman thanks